somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. That's the answer. This is the Appleton Oak. I'm Mason Quinn. Folks, today we are taking a look at 2012's The Impossible. This stars Ewan McGregor and Naomi Watts, two of my favorite actors. Uh, this one is a brand new watch for me. I don't know anything about it other than it is based on a true story of a family's uh, fight to survive during the 2004 uh, tsunamis in Southeast Asia. So I'm looking forward to see how this plays out. I had no idea this movie even existed, but I am ready, willing, and able to watch this because this is, might be something powerful to watch. Yeah, um, I, you know, I, I remember it being in the news that this happened. I mean, we're talking, you know, two decades ago, the better part of two decades, so it's been a minute, but I have not seen this film, and based on a true story, those are these are always kind of tough ones for us to watch just because you know there's real people involved um but uh it came very highly recommended so i'm looking forward to seeing it. all right without further ado let's go that is to really drive it home yeah that was that was intense old book hey there's my guy there's you and did you set the alarm before we left yeah it was the last thing i did i was the last one to leave and i'm sure i didn't set it i was the last one out and i did no no i was the <laughs> last one because i went back in and that means the alarm is not set because i didn't set it well I guess that means we'll be coming home to a large bunch of hippies sleeping in our bed. It's all right. It's fine. It's just turbulence, Maria. It's time to sit down. We're about to land, darling. Just won't talk to me. Take my seat. What did I do? I didn't do anything. It's all right. Just sit down and stop worrying. Sit down, please, madame. Yeah. Lucas, you know, you could try being a bit nicer to your brother. Everything scares him. I fly... 25 <laughs> times a year, and that never doesn't bother me. Have you been to Kaolak before? No, it's our first time. This is the best holiday season ever. The Orchid Beach Resort is brand new. I I'm sorry, but we made a booking on the third floor. That was a mistake, but we feel you might play this better. Oh, well, I, I work for a big company there. That's how new it is. Yeah. You don't work? I'm a doctor taking care of the kids. Oh, they're gonna charge you for that. <laughs> Come on! Oh, what a view. <laughs> <Just right. laughs> it's interesting that they say they requested third floor yeah. to have a better view, which, yeah. although with the power of the tsunami, I don't know that third floor. Yeah, I don't think it'd matter. Third floor, especially be an ocean side. <laughs> Is it? Hey, it's, it's, it's going up. It's okay, so it's all it's catching up. It's catching up. We got any of that wine left. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> you know how much we paid for this place? You're not sleeping all day. Complete <laughs> <laughs> Nova starts that like, you can stick it on your ceiling. Stuff. Thank you, darling. That's right, my darling. I need Santa Claus. Oh. Yes, Thomas. Oh. Oh, yes. oh, well, okay. It's, it's like maybe he could be Spider Man someday. <laughs> Have, have either of you ever done that? Yeah. Yeah. Snorkeling, snorkeling, scuba diving? Yeah, I've done snorkeling. Isn't it fun? It's awesome, yeah. Just, and you think you're so close to the fish, yet you're, you're as soon as they know you're there, gone. I can't get to sleep. Must be getting up. <laughs> <laughs> you were there two days. Can we go outside and watch the stars? <gasps> I 
see the birds oh. going the other way. All you can do is, can do is go you swim after him. the water is like secondary it's all the stuff in the water mm -hmm. oh. Well, I mean, at least she's a doctor. So yeah. You know, I mean, there's massive infection just everywhere there, but. With a bruise oh. on her eye. Okay, let's go. I mean, the blood loss and how, like, she had probably all that adrenaline going at yeah. first and now. Yeah. There's nothing we can do. Wait, we are almost there. We have to get to safety. No, we have to help that boy. Mom, look at you. We need help. Can't risk it, Mum. Come on. Listen. What if that boy was Simon? 
Or Thomas. You'd want someone to help them, wouldn't you? Simon and Thomas are dead! Where are you? Look there! Mum, look, I see. Are you okay? I'm Lucas. What's your name? Daniel. Okay, Daniel. Okay, come on. Left him. Just, just it's all right. It's all oh, right. broken arm. Probably. Uh, uh, looks okay. Well, just when he picked yeah, him up, how yeah. the kid reacted. Oh, smart thinking. Mm -hmm. It's okay, it's okay. Don't worry. Mom, come down. Just give me a second. No, I can do it. Just stay there. Is an elephant? Yeah, elephant. It's just nothing. Dad, you couldn't do anything. You just almost have to sit and wait. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Try to signal any way you can, I suppose. Oh, he's just checking to see if his mom is mm. still breathing. Yeah. Did you hear that? Mom, look. Look, they're coming for us. Oh. oh my goodness. But it's like. Oh. You think like you'd have her doing the over the shoulder, like. Yeah, or something. Is. Mom, here. Nothing. Thank you so much. I couldn't see them. My boy. Oh, don't let them take me anywhere without you. Don't worry, Mom. I'm not going to leave you alone, I promise. What's Daniel? Daniel? I don't know. Daniel. God, the hospital yeah. must just be, they must have been all just overwhelmed. Yeah. <clears throat> Mobile medical stations? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Oh. I just got separated from his mom, too. Yeah. Thank you. I need some antibiotics. Look in the cupboard. Oh. I can't read the labels, they're all in tight. Look on the side. Look carefully, Luke. Look. You can welcome Shai. See that boy? I'm all he's got in the world. Do you understand? I'm a doctor too. I, I've got a lot of bleeding. You've got to stop it. That's 
that's got to be to clean the wound as best it can. Oh. That is my husband. What color is it? My leg. It's still red. What does that mean? It's good. As long as it doesn't turn black. You need to eat something. Oh, so bossy. <laughs> oh, no. Hello. My name's Maria, and this is my son, Lucas. What's your name? Give us some tangerine. Be careful. Be careful, Lucas. <laughs> turn your head to the side, please. We'll choke if you don't. Well, you have to think of all the water and stuff yeah. that they swallowed. Oh, yeah. Stop, stop, right! Oh, oh yeah. they're pulling that out of. Oh, it's like seaweed in their yeah, arms. Their hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Francesca! Francesca! Come on, more! Look at this place. It's so busy in here. You've got to go and do something. What do you want me to do? Something. Will you be all right? Come on, Lucas. Okay. Hello! Yelpen! Van Strem! Van Strem, from Sverige. Your family? Agda, Josef. Kay, calm down. I will help you. Okay. Are you, are you Joseph Benstrom or Morton Benstrom? No. I'm looking for my my son. Son? Uh, Peter Berry. You Morton Benstrom, no? Agda Benstrom? It's my daughter, Charlie Marie de Bruyne. Sorry, what's your name again? Marie de Bruyne. Bruyne. Man, just all those people trying to find their families. Walton Benstrom? Ja. Walton Benstrom from Sweden. I know your dad. Papa? You're, yeah, your papa. He's here. No, no, no. I need to stay here. Okay. I will bring your papa here. Uh, I mean, I understand the kid, but yeah, he needs his, his rest. Benstrom! <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, they move her. Where's my mom? Mom! What are you doing? Hello, my no, my I'm like, I'm like, it's okay. Take it easy, boy. No, my mom was here and she took a file. Hee haw. Hope I You have to come with me. I will help you. Oh, what's in the file? Oh my gosh. What's your name? Lucas Bennett. Where were you staying? Uh, the Orchid Beach Resort in in Kowlat. Was somebody else traveling with you? My dad and my two little brothers. Do you know what happened to them? Is there somebody we could call? My granddad. What's his name? I don't remember his number. Lucas! Maria! Lucas! Maria! Well, the fact that he's not screaming for his other two boys yeah. makes me mm -hmm. feel like maybe they're okay. You all right? I just need to lie here a minute. They're sending trucks to drive us all up to the mountains. Just hang on tight, all right? They'll be here soon. Yeah, I know. Can you tell them I'm back? Yeah, sure. Oh, tell them I'm back. Hopefully that's his boys. 
Hey! Dad, a whole load of helicopters just flew by. Uh, they? Why don't you come down here a minute, Thomas? What about me? You, you stay and see if you can see any more helicopters, OK? I still haven't found them. What happened was very serious, Thomas. Not Mama Lucas, right? No, I didn't see them. I burnt my feet on the roof. It was really hot and everyone was leaving. Oh. Can we leave yet? I need you to do me a favour, Thomas. I've heard that everyone's going to the mountains, you see, to our shelter where it's really safe. But I can't go with you. You can't leave us alone again, Dad. I, I have to keep looking for them, you see. You have to look after no, Simon. I've never looked after someone before. I'm scared. I know, I know. I'm scared too. Do you know the most scary bit for me? When I came up, and that was all on my own. And then I saw the two of you clinging to the tree, and I, I didn't feel so scared anymore because I knew I wasn't on my own, you see? We'll look for them together. No, you, can't. you have to look after Simon. Hello. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Are you all right? Have you lost someone? We're fine. We just want to get out of here. I've been trying to place a call back home all day. I wondered, could I use your phone? It'd be really quick. Look around you, man. Everybody's needing something right now, but our battery's almost dead. We need the phone. I'd like to talk to somebody in charge who knows a little bit more. I'll see you in the morning, OK? You're not coming. I'm not coming, we might know. You're going to behave yourselves, OK? And I'm going to be with you just as soon as I can, OK? I love you. Will you look out for my voice for me, please? Come with us. I can't stop looking. I'll be with you tomorrow, I promise. Lucas! Oh, no. No. Jesus. Hey, man. Uh, you okay? Get in the car. We'll drive you somewhere safer. My wife didn't want to come to Thailand for Christmas holidays. Because of my leg, I insisted. My little girl, the noise woke me up. I went out to the terrace and saw the sea coming inland. It took me five seconds to reach the stairs, but the water was already there. I found a note from my wife saying that they were at the beach. Yeah, my whole family were around the swimming pool when the water hit. I found my middle son first, Thomas. He was, he was at the top of this really tall tree. It took me ages to convince him to come down because he was so scared, you know? And then I found my little one, Simon. He was holding on to a... a, a a palm tree I sent them to the mountains so that I could keep looking for my wife and my eldest son. Have you called home yet? I can't find a phone. I'm saving my battery just in case my family calls. Well, thank you. Yes? Ryan? D did you hear from anyone yet? No, Henry, you're the first to call. Marie and Lucas are not here. The motor came and swept everyone away. And I found, I found Thomas and Sam and Lucas <laughs> home. Right, I have to go because lots of people need to use this phone, okay? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, thank you. What do you want me to do? You can't leave it like that. Go on. Come on. You should call him back. It's me again. Look, I promise you that I, I won't stop looking until I find him, okay? I don't know what I'm going to do because it's night time now, but I'll, I'll look in all the hospitals and I'll look in all the shelters and everything, okay? And I, I will find them, I promise you that. I'll call you when I do. Okay. okay. Thanks. Can I go with you? Yeah, I suppose that guy just wants to do anything he can to help. Mm -hmm. You know, he's, he's at his fate. How old are you? <laughs> Almost 74. Did he turn softly? He's got the fan lights on him. He's all right. You like looking at stars, don't you? I do. I like to find most of the constellations. Some of those stars have been burnt out for a long, long time. They're dead, aren't they? They're dead. Once they were so bright that their light is still traveling through space. We can still see them. It's a beautiful mystery, isn't it? Can you come with me? Your name is Lucas Bennett, is that right? And your mother's name is Maria Bennett, is that correct? Huh? We'd like you to look at these things, please, and see if you recognize any of them. Oh, my God. Have a good look. Do you recognize anything? I don't think so. You don't think so? 
Oh, they're not going to make... Please come with us. Oh, no. Oh, God, no. Mom. Where the hell were you? You promised me you weren't going anywhere. I thought you were dead, Mom. <laughs> oh. We're so sorry. Someone must have changed her records during surgery. She's had surgery on her chest. She lost a lot of blood. She was too weak to have her leg operate on. She has to go back to surgery when she recovers. Ooh. It's gonna be tough. Oh, man. Nothing. We should try and get a ride to Takua Park Hospital. Was that the woman that was gonna be with her sons? They wouldn't let me go with them. I'm sorry. Where? I don't know. So I just saw outside. The color is my leg. Oh, no, no, it's gonna be black, isn't it? It's still red. He just lied, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, that's, that's my guess. He's gonna tell a doctor. Please, my mom, her wounds are looking really bad. We are taking your mom to surgery right away. Come on, six years since yesterday. It's full. We move no, 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 five, five minutes. Give me five minutes, please. These are the names of my little girl, Gina and KP, my wife. She's American. They told us her daughter could be in Suratani. And we've already been to this hospital. Five minutes, please. Just only five minutes. Okay. Oh, gosh. Anything left in the car? Oh, she's, oh, she's delirious. real delirious. Yeah. I'll get you something. Okay. Oh, is Lucas going to see his dad? <laughs> Oh, I just missed him. Of course, as the curtain was drawn. Oh, he's right there. Oh, he recognizes the shorts. Need to pee. Can you hold it? Simon, what are you doing? Uh, what are you doing? Oh, it's right there. Oh, I mean, they're all at the same hospital. They just don't know it. No luck. Sorry. Hey, thanks for wasting time. Let's go. No need to wait. <laughs> what? The nurses are going to try and operate on her as soon as they can. I wonder if they moved her already. what 
she meant by rest. No. No, you're going to be fine. Take care. Take you're going to be fine. They're going to take good care of you, okay? I promise you, we're going to be fine. Oh, I'm scared. Sweetheart, I promise you're going to be okay. We need to take her now. Okay. I love you. I love you so much. <clears throat> Sorry if I've let you down in any way. Thanks for taking care of Mum. We took care of each other. Dad? Yeah? There's something I didn't tell Mum. I really need her to know. I have a family too. I've been saving my strength because I want to see them one more time. That door is still there. Oh, do you have to? I don't want you to feel any pain. I'm afraid to go to sleep. You're in good hands. Close your eyes and think of something nice. Think of something nice. Okay, Lucas. We're going home. Be careful, look. Okay? I'm Oliver Tuphole from Zurich Insurance. They sent me to take care of your family. You have nothing to worry about now. In a few hours, you'll be at Singapore General Hospital, where your wife will receive the best treatment in all the world. Singapore. You'll be safe there, okay? Oh, please take your seat. We'll be taking off shortly. Oh. Can I just... Yeah, okay. Oh. How are you? Here. With you. And guess what? I saw Daniel again. <laughs> he was so happy. He was in somebody's arms. I bet it was his dad, Mum. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you have to go back to your seat now. Fasten your seatbelts, please.
Ooh, wow. Wow. All right, guys. Wow. That was the impossible. And I don't know if <laughs> we've had reactions before to, you know, incredibly powerful films. And, you know, this one is, of course, right up there now. I'm a massive uh, Ewan McGregor fan. Um, I love all his stuff. I love especially the the Long Way series that he did with Charlie Borman. Uh, for me, that's what really kind of I really kind of fell in love with those guys' his whole character. So, but man, everybody delivered. Now I had no idea that Tom Holland did a lot of uh, I guess child acting. I you know I didn't. I didn't really know about him until he kind of burst onto the scene as Spider-Man, but what an incredible performance by him. Uh, all the actors did an absolutely amazing job just portraying this impossible situation that they were in and what they had to deal with. And I think what hit me early on right away uh, was the fact that you might have to be a parent of a young child and you might, find yourself in a situation like they did where as Maria did, you have to depend on Lucas. She had to depend on him to help him out. And he always couldn't have been more than, I don't think what 12, 30, yeah, 12 years old in this. And it's just like, you know, you're the mom, you're used to, you know, having to take care of the kids and, you know, and for, uh, Ewan's character, Henry, especially is like, here you are having to rely on, on your little kid to help you out and, you know, helping her climb the tree and everything and, and get to safety. I mean, man, that's one that's just incredibly difficult to deal with. Uh, and it, it just puts things in a completely different perspective and, you know, you're in basically a survival situation. The, uh, the graphicness of everybody's injuries that they showed in here and the use of sound to just make you feel like you were there when, um, you know, when Maria had her, you know, her leg was cut open, they just showed that shot of the back of the hamstring just folded over. And then the a couple of scenes later, she's being drug over those, those like palm leaves or whatever. And they put the sound in there of it being drug. And like, you just felt like you were there. Um, there's been a number of movies out there that have, you know, taken, you know, real, uh, survival situations that families have put themselves in, but I don't know if there's ever been one that's done this well. Uh, this was just incredible. I, I did not know if Maria was going to make it. I thought for sure, maybe, you know, uh, she might have to have the leg amputated just because of all the disease. I mean, you think of all the, the infectious, uh, things that are out there when that water comes in and, and pulls everything back. Just, oh man, just, just incredible. But it does show the, you know, the strength of families when they come together, which is what I really liked. And, you know, I think Maria was going to, she almost felt like she was going to give up at the end once her family was there and she saw everybody was there. But, you know, Ewan's character is like, no, this is, this is why we're here now. You're, you did, we didn't come this far essentially to, uh, to lose you at this point. But, um, that's my quick initial take. I want to kind of hear what the other guys have to say, but what a just amazing, uh, amazing film. So powerful. Yeah. Just you, I mean, natural disasters happen, but when you see it done such like this, which, how accurate, I don't care. It's still powerful to see. You saw how, you know, like you said, depending on each other, depending on your community, depending on mm. everybody in there. I mean, a powerful scene was just Lucas running around the hospital, you know, trying to find people's family members, whether it's their son, wife, daughter, mother, you know, husband. It didn't matter. And, like, he finally got one of them together and, like, you felt a sense of like accomplishment, like, mm -hmm. all right, now well, let's see if we can find more. And, and I, you know, and I didn't know how much they're going to go in with that, but to at least get one reunited and then even seeing Daniel with his father and mm -hmm. like, like how important it was also for, you know, Lucas to tell Maria that because remember, she's like, what if he's lost? What right. if he's by himself? What if, you know, and Tom Holland played the role beautifully it was it was just really well done and i thought 
You know, it just – I don't know what I would do in that situation. I really don't. Yeah, And you can say what you want you would do or this or that. You don't know until you're in that situation. Mm. And it just shows that this family, their love for each other and their – that's what shone through and that's what they wanted. They wanted to get back together and be with each other once more and, like – and I was worried about Maria because she said now she can rest. And, like, you know, <laughs> you know he's like, I didn't come here for that. Yep. So, yeah, it was it was really well done. Um, yeah, I thought, I thought it was a really good movie. The power of, you know, strangers coming together yeah. and helping. They yeah. almost became family. Like, I mean, complete strangers, like, that was all they had was each other. Like, even, like, I'm sure that was a perfect stranger, you know, up on the top of the roof, like helping him with his boys and like telling him, Hey, just stay down there. We got trucks coming. We're going to head to the mountains. Mm -hmm. It's safe up there. And I mean, we knew the whole time, you know, obviously at least us as, you know, husbands or fathers, we're not, we're not going anywhere until we find everyone. So, but yeah, this was, this was a really well done movie. Yeah. I don't, I mean, first and foremost, I mean, just, it just your heart just goes out so much to everybody who lost people in this situation and for do we if, i mean I, I gotta be honest i don't know how many people died answer can you just look, look that up just how many people were lost in the in the tsunami in 2004 i just i just want to be able to um i just want to be able to recognize that as we discuss this um I think it's important that. Um, oh my God. Two hundred and thirty thousand. Holy shit. Um, sorry, I just I didn't. I guess I didn't know it was that bad. Two hundred and thirty thousand people. Um. Yeah, the movie. I mean, the movie did a great job. I think of as these guys kind of talked about. There's a. It's a quote by Mister Rogers, Fred Rogers, that said, "When, when tragedy like this strikes." To look for the helpers and I think that was the biggest thing about this film I mean obviously you had a mother who wasn't going to give up on her son but in the process of not giving up on her son wasn't going to give up on somebody else's child because she put herself in the situation of what if that was my child and then you had a father that wasn't going to give up on his wife and his boys either um, but, um, I think that's the biggest thing that you can take away from this film and, and any disaster that happens is that for as terrible as this is, and when it's a natural disaster, you, you can't point the finger at anybody or any, anything at all. It just, it just happens. And to see the people that came out and helped and the, um, uh, the people from Thailand that were there, that the guys that went out to help, I mean, I mean, that was like right after it happened. And you have to imagine like they lost their houses and they, I mean, their world just got turned upside down and in a matter of minutes and like their first instinct as humans was to go help strangers. And I think, I think that's just really, really powerful so this is kind of like a two-sided story and that the, the 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 love that you have for your family and just that that just instinct to never give up on them but also the, the power that of just humans and compassion and and just that natural instinct we have to help each other when things like this happen was so powerful um and as far as a movie um I mean, obviously very well done. They got amazing actors and they told a great story. I think it was um, a, a great mix of kind of showing the disaster and then just 
trying to give you just the, the slightest insight to the chaos that would be, you know, finding people. And, and it's for as much tragedy as there would be in, in losing a loved one um, in any, think of a car accident or, or a, a medical situation, for as much tragedy as there is losing a loved one, something is as terrible and as frightening as this. And then, of course, the not knowing. And you had 230,000 people die. That's 230,000 families looking for their loved ones and searching these hospitals. And just the pain and the fear of not knowing and waiting. And, you know, they, you know, Mason Quinn mentioned a couple of times. And I think it's one of the things that you don't think about really is just how how destructive something like this is you know we think of natural disasters fires and in earthquakes and in tornadoes and things like that i mean you know here in the united states especially in the midwest we have tornadoes and i mean if and, and not to obviously trivialize the the damage that they do to towns and cities but i mean sometimes we hear of a, a dozen people lost their lives or, or 20 or, or 30 mm -hmm. i mean something like that and i mean 30 or 40 people losing their lives in a tornado is 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 crazy to think about here and then you think about two hundred and thirty thousand, and that you know but again just the damage that that tsunami mm -hmm. did and and you think you know, a wave comes through and it's going to wash you away and people have to worry about drowning. And then they did a very good job of showing how dangerous something mm. like that would be. And all, all the debris and getting battered and around. And, and just yeah. how many people like lost their lives immediately just from debris. I mean, so they did a very good job with that. Um, I mean, you can't, you can't say enough about... Uh, all the people working the medical facilities in Thailand, the rescue workers, all the people that went out, all the people that helped. And look, there's there's probably countless people who went out and looked and helped, and they're never going to get recognized for it. Nobody even did knew rather that that they went out and helped. It was just people that did it from the good of their heart. And you know, I know it's like it's it's super fucking cliche to to talk about you know us as humans putting our differences aside but you know you see something like this and you see the way people are able to come together to help each other and it's like well fuck it's like it sure would be nice to see people treat each other more like that um you know the whole movie was rough the note from the the dad at the end i think got me the most when mm. he turned around and saw that because here he was on a plane about to you know, go get his wife, you know, medical treatment. Mm -hmm. They were safe. And that was like the reminder that oh, yeah. 230,000 people. I mean, mm -hmm. I, the, the, the scope of the, 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 the people that were lost. And I mean, that's in, you got to imagine like that. That's in a day. That's an hour. That's minutes. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, that's, that's literally minutes of damage. And I know there was second waves and they showed that. And there was fear of, of more waves coming in, essentially, if there was an, I believe it was an earthquake that caused a mm -hmm. tsunami. And then, of course, with earthquakes, you have aftershocks. But when I mean, you think of something like, I don't know, like World War II, I think, you know, in the United States, we lost, you know, 400 some thousand <coughs> in a, a matter of, you know, four years of, of war and some of the most brutal fighting in the, in the history of, of wars. And it's like half of that was, I mean, a matter of minutes, hours. Um, so it's just, um, I don't know. It's, it's, it's hard to really comprehend. And it's something that, um, uh, you know, I'm sure it's going to take a lot longer than the, the amount of time that we do to wrap up this, uh, this movie to really let it sink in. But, um, I'm thank you to the people who recommended this. Um, if I'm being honest, not something that I'll, I'll probably watch again. I think no. this is, um, one of those films that you watch, you try to take away lessons, you try to appreciate it. Uh, again, I know it's cliche, but you go home and you hug your loved ones a little bit tighter, knowing that um, knowing that things like this happen. Obviously, it's rare, but <coughs> they happen, and there's nothing that you can do to prepare for it. And Yeah, it was interesting there at the end when they showed Tom Holland's character walking off, and 
you know, here they were. I mean, they obviously had, you know, some type of traveler's <coughs> insurance or something like that, that we would assume, you know, with the Zurich uh, company and, you know, they're walking off and they're going to be getting taken care of. And, you know, Tom Holland's character looked back and his face almost portrayed like a little bit of, uh, if you call it like survivor's guilt, <coughs> you know, or something like that, where you're almost, yeah. you're, you're almost guilty because you know, you, your, your whole family made it. You know, and you're all going to be back together. And, uh, you know, here you are, you're going to get taken care of with the best medical treatment there is in Singapore. I mean, it's an amazing, amazing place and uh, certainly some of the best uh, medical facilities in the world. But, yeah, I mean, he almost portrayed that look of a little bit of guilt on his face. And I just thought all the little stuff they did was just was just incredible. And like you said, you felt like you were there uh, from, you know, from right off the start, you know, whether it was all the debris in the water and people, you know, when they showed the scene with Maria <clears throat> getting tossed around in the water, you, you hear people describe that almost like an avalanche where if you're caught in an avalanche, you don't know which way is up and which way is down because the way you're being tossed around and mm -hmm. the way the, the, way the, uh, the, the air is being circulated in the water, it's the same thing. You, you really can't even swim because there's no water to push against and you can't really tell which way is up or down. So you just, you, you had that feeling of, of panic right there with them and that was that was incredible yeah just it was just powerful i mean because like you're it, like i said it, it was like you're in that situation and like what do you do and you know her instincts was she's a doctor we got to help people mm -hmm. and you know and that's hospital, lucas too with, um, with lucas running around and helping yeah and you know, and oh, then right. and then even <sighs> when like uh train. she was starting to throw up and she was telling Lucas put her on her side, put her on her mm -hmm. side, or she'll choke. And then same with her. And like that's one thing you never think about either is when they pulled that whatever it was a uh, rope or whatever. Her throat is like no. also that debris and like you're screaming or whatever. The water, all mm -hmm. that stuff is going right in too. So, I mean, there's so many different ways that it could you know get you. I mean, not just on the outside, on the inside as well. Yeah. The fact that an entire, I mean, with with as as, as horrible as the, the 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 damage was, the fact that an entire family um, was able to survive this, a family of five, is I mean, it says the as the the movie is titled, impossible, and um, it's just it, it's 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 impactful. I think. Um, I think we can all ag agree that this isn't um, a movie that we are going to do any sort of support mm -hmm. for. Absolutely generally speaking, not. when we we do these sort of things, we mm -hmm. we don't do scores. Instead, just try to um, try to recognize the people that were lost yep. and the people who who went out and and very selflessly tried to help strangers. Um, people that lost everything still went out and helped mm -hmm. anyone and everyone they could. So, yeah, phenomenal film. Again, thank Absolutely. you to everybody who recommended this. Um, very impactful, and, and I'm I'm glad that I watched it and have a certainly a different appreciation for what happened. So, so it makes right. you it makes you have faith in humanity. So for Appleton Oak, that's Mason Quinn. I'm of course the answer. Good night, pals.